By age two and a half, Jack was showing signs of autism, difficulty in social interaction, language problems, repetitive behavior. We were in functioning denial. We heard what they said. We didn't want to believe it. But, you know, Jack's eight years old now. He's a wonderful kid. We still wonder every day what caused it. Research reveals that it's likely there's no one cause of autism. Scientists say there's support for the notion that genetic mutations and pre- or postnatal environmental factors converge to interfere with early brain development. Many experts believe that autism is a misconnection problem in the brain. The brain hasn't been wired correctly and that leads one part of the brain to miscommunicate with another part of the brain and that can result in abnormal behavior. In their quest to discover when and why this miswiring occurs, researchers rely on studies with humans. The most obvious signs and symptoms of autism emerge in children between the ages of two and three. Scientists are working to identify the disorder earlier. For clues, they're studying the younger siblings of children with autism, whose odds of developing the disorder are an astounding one in five. An important tool in this research, used in infants as young as three months, is the electroencephalogram, or EEG. A net of small sensors placed on the child's head permits the recording of the brain's electrical activity. It's like listening in on the conversation that billions of neurons are having with one another. The goal is to pick up on patterns of brain activity that are harbingers of autism. Researchers are discovering that there are features of the EEG that appear to predict when a child has an especially high risk of developing the disorder. Earlier diagnosis will set the stage for earlier interventions and better outcomes for children. In fact, if science can intervene early enough, it may be possible to stop the disorder before it causes symptoms of autism. If we could have gotten an earlier diagnosis, our life would be so different today. We would have been six months ahead of where we are, a year ahead of where we are, and Jack would have been that much better off.